Hello, everybody out there in the internet. Welcome to Chatting with Tekken for August 2016. So, yeah, got uh, these I'm working on. Change to that, changes to the channel and other stuff, and then rambling about stuff as I do this, because that's just how I roll. No, uh, what's been recorded since last time, because I cut it out. So, well, I didn't cut it out, but, you know, it's been omitted or no longer a segment of the uh, vlog every month. So, yeah. And then I got my notes, or I got some notes, so I don't just go completely off the rails and can just, you know, have a bit of focus here. Um, but then I'm thinking of, like, putting another part onto the end of, like, what I've been playing as far as, like, or, like, games worth mentioning since the last time that I played. And it's like, oh, man, this game. This game's awesome. This game's amazing. But then I'm also thinking of just, like, spinning that off into its own thing. So, you know, this, this kind of fits into the whole... Views I'm working on, cause it might it might be a thing, it might not be a thing. I might I might do it. I might just like you know, do that to slowly but surely uh, you know, segue and roll into a very very wow. I cannot talk. Video reviews I've been wanting to do for a while, so you know it's like a, it's like a nice stopgap situation where it's like you know it's not quite a video review, but it's like yeah close enough until I can like you know get around to ex editing videos yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So stream playlists are mostly organized now, um, except for the problem is that there's more than one stream playlist on my channel. So the PS4 stuff is done because I I took them all, I put them all in their separate playlists, and I deleted the PS4 stream playlist, so it's it's gone. And now every game my stream has its own playlists and stuff. Until unless it's like a game. I streamed and then I just didn't get around to making a playlist like Abzu. Played this morning and haven't made a playlist for it. Same thing with Batman. That being said, Telltale games I might not be doing anymore because for some reason I keep getting an error when I stream those games. And it's it's just super frustrating and annoying to be like, okay, playing a game, oh, the stream crashed. But 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 to you know, to to that effect it when I was streaming, my whole internet just like crapped out this morning, so I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> it's like, I can't, I can't really blame YouTube or PSN because my crappy internet connection just like, my, like all the lights on the modem just like went off. And it was like, what? Just, it was, it was not a fun time because I was like, man, I'm playing this, I'm trying to stream it, and I just, I just can't catch a break. Like every time I, I try to stream something from Telltale and it's like, oh man, I want to, I want to stream this so I can like have my choices and consequences and like the whole playthrough. Something goes wrong, and like every, I'm pretty sure every Telltale game I've streamed in the past, as far as like PS4 wise, as it has had at least one issue, or had like one episode just getting eaten and then stuck somewhere in the bowels of my channel where I can't uh, get it <laughs> back to the channel where you can see it. Um, let's see, just switching to whatever as I finish stuff. So basically, I've been. I mean, I have this setup where it's like, you know, if it's the A game, that's like the game every Tuesday, streaming it, but in between those games, you know, it's like, I'm going to be playing stuff too, so right now, uh, Star Ocean, finished it, I Am Setsuna, amazing, so much better than Star Ocean, finished it, I mean, okay, I'm not going to, I mean, I very much enjoyed that game, so it's like, I will say that, I mean, that being said, <laughs> it wasn't much longer, but it was definitely, like, quality-wise. I mean, it's very different since it's turn-based versus, you know, real-time, but I enjoyed it much better, and it had that old-school vibe. It, like, it totally just hit the whole, you know, remember th remember the good old days feel when I was playing that, and just like, ugh. I think it, I think I had, like, one stream that's, like, maybe... Wait, no, I'm not going to say it's 12 hours, because it felt like I played it for 12 hours, but it probably was more like 7 or 8, but yeah, that was very refreshing <laughs> to go back and play an old-school JRPG and just be like, yeah... I remember and miss the good old days because, ah, oh, ah, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, I'm going to miss Siam soon. And then there's no, there's no new game plus, so I can't, I mean, I can't go back and play it, but it's like side quest stuff, so, yeah, ah, it's not the same, it's not the same as just restarting with all your characters buffed or OP and then just like rolling through the game, because that's always fun, so I don't know why they, I don't know why they didn't put that, put that in. But yeah, um, where's my DualShock? My DualShock. So, uh, let's see. Abzu, I finished that, so that's going to be, well, it's already on the channel, obviously. And then I'm currently streaming GTA V, so I can delete it, because it's, it's a lot of space, that game. 
uh, let's see, before that, Arkham Knight, so <laughs> all the, th I think I might be going a bit off into a tangent and, you know, off, out of order, so it's, these aren't really videos I'm working on, they're already done, but same diff, same difference, whatever. So Arkham Knight, that, that game, uh, all the, um, season, I, I forget what it's called, it's not in front of me because I deleted it, so I could save some space on my hard drive, the season of Infamy. And then all the other DLC for like the um, like the side story stuff, like Nightwing, Robin, Catwoman, Batgirl. I can't remember what they're called. It's it's whatever, dude. I didn't enjoy them. <laughs> Season of Infamy was good. Those were like really good. But then the the you know the standalone stuff for the side characters. It was basically just as short and disappointing as uh, the Red Hood and Harley Quinn. So I was like, eh. So you have a stealth section, combat section, stealth section. Bad Girls was more involved because there's a hub world, but it's whatever, dude. So I'm I'm glad to finally delete that game and never had to play it again. I said I would do all the combat rooms, but I just felt disgusted when I played it, and it's just like the the the, the repulsiveness and like the feelings of you know my regret buying it, <laughs> and then my regret of like having having played it and like not thoroughly enjoyed it and all the content being locked behind the paywall until they finally you know this however long it's been since it came out it got super cheap and the uh the season pass was super cheap but i bought like the premium edition was like 25 bucks which was if not the same price as the season pass like cheaper and that's when i said i was going to get it again or like spring for the season pass but instead i just like bought the digital version so i can trade in the physical copy and like not have to ever look at it again so yeah <laughs> and then like it took up so much space i was like well i'm kind of running out of space let me play through this which is why I, was, why I was streaming it so that's all done so yay um like there's a small chance i'll go back like if i ever have like time and i'm like bored i'm like well i feel like playing some batman but not that there now that there's a telltale game out of it and now that um you know the remastered stuff's coming it's like you know i can i can go back and play some of the Arkham Origins stuff, or is it Arkham Origins? No, Arkham Origins. Arkham Asylum stuff I never did. As far as like challenge rooms, upload those so they can give views and stuff. Oh, and then, um, yeah, I think that's like the only one I don't have because Arkham City, I got like all those. Arkham Origins, I got all those. And then Asylum was like the one I actually did the story. But, and it was before like I did all the stuff for like Arkham City. And it was like, and it just like went through the roof as far as like <laughs> viewership. So. Yeah, but then also, like, it's not as refined, so... I mean, it's still good, it's just not as good as City or Origins. Origins, to me, is still top tier. Just... Ah, that, that combat system. I, I mean, I hate to, you know, repeat myself so many times, but best 3D combat game of last, last console generation. I mean, arguably, now that I've played <laughs> DMC, it would, be, it would be between DMC and Arkham Origins, for sure, because... The depth in DMC, dude, but in like the style, but then just the the ease of use on uh, Arkham Origins, and you're Evan Batman, and like yeah, uh, okay, moving on. <laughs> Before we have like a versus of like this game versus that game. Uh, finish up Borderlands pre sequel, so I finished Need for Speed finally, so that's done. Thank goodness, got the platinum trophy too, so easy platinum. Uh, and then I'm gonna upload the Eddie mission where it's where it's the dude from Most Wanted, and they have like a whole quest line in Need for Speed, which is cool. It was like free DLC, and that game was it wasn't taking up a lot of space. I just you know I can always go back to it and play it, but it's there's like no reason to have it on my hard drive, and it and it just like keep uh, updating, so it kept like you know the file kept getting bigger and bigger, so it's like. I don't need to have this on my PS4 if I'm not going to keep playing it. I wasn't going to keep playing it because I got all the, I got a Platinum Trophy, and then yeah, I got all the cars I wanted. So, what's done is done, and, and that was that. So, and there's no reason to keep it on there. If I whatever, if I just want to play, it, I can just re-download it, so it's fine. But that's play through that, deleted it. So now I just got to finish off Borderlands pre-sequel, which are the two that started this whole madness of streaming stuff on the channel. And yeah, just keep jumping from game to game. Uh, so it's August, next month September, which is when the Rise of Iron in Destiny comes out, which is basically when I'm quitting, so I have one more left, one more left, one more month left in Destiny, and I'm done with that game forever. I don't think I'm going to be coming back in year three, so, I mean, <laughs> they, there's a lot of issues <laughs> and a lot of things they'd have to resolve, fix, 
or just yeah I, I just can't see how they're gonna bridge the gap to bring me back there because no <laughs> no I'm not the, the grind of the treadmill to nowhere the the endless you know loot loot drops that you're you're getting angry about you're not getting it's just like the like the time that you spend doing like all these stuff that's not fun in the game versus the time that you spend doing stuff that you think is fun in the game is just like so small like the like the story missions and the quest lines you play those through once and even then on the quest lines it's stuff that you've already played so it's you know it's just just like yeah it's just ring around the story missions you've played however many times and it's just as like after the first time i mean after a couple times it's like you know it might be fun but then when you're just grinding that stuff it just it just no it just it just <laughs> and then i'm super like pvp can go suck <laughs> wow i almost said something terrible pvp can ah my screen it's gone um i think my screen server just kicked in and i can't okay there we go that was weird that was weird i'm not used to my screen server coming out while i'm doing this and i freaked out but but yeah but like pvp also it's like you know just it wasn't fun and i was like i was playing pvp just because i had to there's, there's probably like a part of me that enjoyed it, but like ultimately, I'm just like so over PvP mode games and just like competitive crap. So it's like whatever, man. Co-op, like I used to say, no cop, no sell. I need to go back to that because whenever I'm playing co-op with my friends and we're having fun, those are like the best moments. Which is why raiding in that game was so fun. But it's like you only get one every year, maybe. So it's like, dude, not worth it. Just pass. Like I mean, that's that's the thing though. It's like you know the raids come out, but then you have to get the gear to be raid ready or just do the raids, and it's just every week you can do it more than once a week but it's like yeah i'm not doing it it's, i'm over it's over i'm done um but hey mass effect videos so i finished the ps3 version of mass effect so i'll be trying to upload that the rest of that because i have part of it on my channel already so i just gotta find the time and bandwidth <laughs> to uh, get the rest of it uploaded and then move on to Mass Effect 2 but I have no idea when that's going to be so this month I'm hoping to get all the Mass Effect 1 on PS3 done as far as like uploading all the story and side quests and then Mass Effect 2 I'll start I have no idea when because I will get to what I'm doing this month in August hold on a second there viewers I'll get there um <laughs> making the YouTube sausage so my behind the scenes video series I haven't started yet still coming still I'll just say in development since there's no first episode yet, but you know it's it's in the queue. It's it's it's, it's happening. I just haven't I just haven't made it happen. So eventually, uh, finish classics classics finish classic Mirror's Edge stream. So yeah, Mirror's Edge the first one I was streaming that, and then I just like dropped it before Catalyst came out. Played through that, didn't go back to it. So I might go back to the classic Mirror's Mirror's Edge to finish that. Well, I will go back to it and finish the stream. That way it's not just like sitting there unfinished like so many other videos and series on my channel there in stasis uh might do a restream series where i replay sections of games that were f played on stream but during stream uh f for the game it crapped out or just like sections of the game play or story or whatever are missing because of the stream you know having technical issues which would be i might like i said i might do it i'm not for sure gonna do it or i might just like restream a game because i'm like still playing it and i can just replay the story while i replay it with better uh gear and stuff like mega solid 5 i i'm still playing that game but it's just to like keep building my mother base to keep researching all the new gear and stuff because there's like a ton of oh, that game is, is ridiculous the amount of replay value in it but there's that one and i want to like replay replay it because um <laughs> I'm I'm low on mother base soldiers, so I need to go through and re kidnap a bunch of <laughs> guards and stuff to to fill out my ranks with with the uh, better soldiers and stuff. Um, I think there's another example of that one. I mean, besides all the games where it's like I've streamed them, and then the stream just craps out, like all the Telltale stuff. It's like, eh, not not necessarily. You know, I don't really really replay through those once I've made a choice as I play through the game, and that's a choice base. You know, your choices affect the outcome, yada, yada, yada. So probably not those. More on the lines of, you know, Microsoft 5 or I think Mirror's Edge Catalyst also, like, some parts of the story are missing because I was streaming it and it, like, either the stream either crapped out or something happened, but I was like, whatever, and I just kept playing. So 
since that like since, yeah, and since that game and Microsoft Five, you can uh, story select as far as like which stage you want to play through. I might just replay chunks of the story that were just dropped. Same thing. Um, probably not though for GTA Five because I'm currently playing that, but that it's like dude, that game is like such a high profile game. It's like f that like <laughs> like if you haven't played it and you have no interest, and there's no reason. <laughs> it's like I'm not gonna change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> and like yeah it's such a also you know high profile game most most people have played it anyway so there's no really reason to like go back and be like oh let me make sure i get all the story missions because there's no shortage of coverage or uh you know visibility on youtube you to just like click 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 or type 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 click 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 and look it up uh what else might not go back and re-record ending credits uh, role in Star Ocean. So Star Ocean, for some reason, like, the the credit scene at the end where, like, the credits roll are blocked and there's, like, a song play, but then I'm like, well, this is probably why the scene is blocked is because there's, a, like, a content ID on the song, so it's like, I could go back and do, but I don't really want to, but then I could do it and just, like, mute the audio, so eh, we'll see. And the final boss is kind of a kind of an annoyance to play through, and it's like, I don't really want to do that again. It wasn't exactly the funnest time in the world the first time, so why would I want to? Why would I want to go back and do it again? I don't want to go back and do it again, so I might not do it. Okay, ah, water. Sustaining my my voice yet again. Um, Deus Ex: Mankind Divided is out this month, so you know. Until until that comes out to be my new A game, uh, Day Six Human Revol Revolution streams. I did start streaming that on PC, but I'll probably just like stream it on PS3 since I haven't played through Director's Cut on there yet, and it's just easier. I mean, I have the 360 version, which is probably like performance-wise better, but <laughs> I'm all about PlayStation. Also, I'm like, I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to play any 360 on my channel right now. No, thank you. Um, I mean, just like it's like marginally better. It's it's. I'm not even gonna get into it. It's so it's so stupid. It's like so semantical. It's like oh, well, it's like you know a bit better frame rate and loading and textures, blah blah blah. Like you can barely tell. It's like I played the game on like on PS3 on 360 on PC. It's like unless you're like PC is like where you should play it, and if you can't play it, it doesn't really matter if you play it on 360 or PS3 because they're just they're they're worse versions than the PC version and like the like the better and worst thing is like you know it's a give and take of like well this does this better this is ever it's like it doesn't matter the game's still awesome not an issue um console wars oh but yeah um <laughs> console wars oh um and then uh mass effect 2 i mean mass effect 1 i'll try to get those uploaded and then maybe mass effect 2 but eh, probably not because it's like that's just too much like there's like yeah like Deus Ex itself is like a long game so it's like you can only play one game at a time if it's like a super crazy long game which is why I'm streaming GTA 5 right now and not really playing anything else cuz like you know get off the tracks when get off the tracks when the trains coming through you don't want to or don't cross the streams or you know like like in Fight Club rule number whatever one fight at a time just <laughs> keep it simple focus don't try to do too much or just you know get overwhelmed um, but yeah, I don't know when the Mass Effect 2 streams will start, so, but when I do, when I do play that game, I will be streaming it, and I will not just do it like I did the, uh, PS3 version, since that was, like, old school playthrough style, one, one part at a time for, like, 30 minute videos, it's like, nah, dude, that's not how this channel works anymore, and I guess also to that end, I need to make another channel trailer, because my channel is, like, yeah, not exactly the same format it was when I made that last trailer, but... <sighs> I'll, see, I'll see if I can get around to it. But yeah, that's let's see, that's the videos I'm working on and change the stuff on the channel. Uh, yeah, and then I don't have to worry about you know rambling about other stuff or what I've been working on since last time because I mean I ramble all the time so that's you know there. But then what I've been working on since last time it's not important. You can just I mean it's not not it's not okay that's that's not what I meant to say but <laughs> you can. Easily, easily navigate it in YouTube in the website you're currently looking at in the browser somewhere. Just click on stuff and you'll get there. Um, but yeah, I did. I did play Abzu. That was great. 
Telltale episode one for Batman, I kind of feel the ending fell flat, man. Like, there's something that ha- they had, like it. Yeah, it's like if if you take the, I would say the the high the high bar that will never be met again. <laughs> from the episode one of uh, the Game of Thrones game they made, they try to do something similar of like, oh, something happened. I mean, just to like build suspense and like leave you hanging because it's an episodic game. It didn't, it, it didn't hit the mark. It didn't, it wasn't like terrible, but it just, you know, it's like, I can see what they're trying to do, but it just didn't execute and like grab me. Like, like, yeah, episode one of the Game of Thrones dude that was just like, oh, like they will never top that in my opinion. Like that was like, how did like how do they top that? It's like you know, nothing they need to. It's just it's just you know that's that's what I judge everything else on. So it's like you know, compared to that, <laughs> Batman is definitely not the, like not up there, but whatever. Um, and like I said, I'm streaming GTA Five now, so I will probably be doing that sometime this week for sure. Also, Hitman, there's some new um. DLC that came out for the summer if you got the full version or whatever so playing through that whenever I get around to it like I said the uh, games of service games whenever I get around to them so that's that one um, Street Fighter whenever there's some new stuff and that's yeah There's besides that I'll just be switching to whatever as I finish stuff so after I finish GTA 5 I'll switch to something else but I'll probably just switch to, uh, like I said, Deus Ex, and then just, it'll be Deus Ex month on the channel. So I'll start with Human Revolution, because that's the lead into Mankind Divided, just so I can hopefully play through it. And then, um, be ready for that. Yeah. And then if I finish that, I might go back to the original one, the, uh, back, like, 1999 Deus Ex Conspiracy, not, maybe not the PS2 version, I don't know, and then... Uh, what's the what's the one after that one called? Invisible War. Yes, that. Day Six Two Invisible War, which was on Xbox and PC. So maybe I've never actually played that one. So <laughs> I kind of wanted to like do that. There was like this month's be Day Six month and just like play through all of them. But then it's like if you play them in order, <laughs> you're like missing Mankind Divided. So it's like you kind of shouldn't do that. You should just probably just play Day, or you should probably just play Human Revolution, and then play Mankind Divided, and then play the other two. And then it's like, you can see, like, I mean, sure, it's like a graphical leap back, but it's still like, those games still hold up. I mean, I haven't played, like I said, I haven't played Invisible War and like it got a bit of flack, like back back in the day. But uh, the first one still holds up, so, you know, it'd be fun to go and play that completely. It's like, yeah, it's so super different, though, because like you have, as far as like the setting and like, you know, the where the world's at, because you have augmentation introduced in Human Revolution and then Mankind Divided, it's like stuff goes down. Not so much, and then the third one is like I don't know, <laughs> or I mean it's the same universe and like different storylines, but it's it's you you could fit it in there if you like you know connect the dots. But yeah, <clears throat> I guess that's it for the or I'm sorry, that's it for Chamatagan for this month and stuff. So I'm gonna stop rambling on here and go do some stuff. But yeah, um. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends, or not, that's cool too. And then I was trying to think of like a, a new intro and outro to this, but whatever. When I, when I get around to it, I'll get around to it, but I don't have it yet. So until you see her from me again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And now, signing off.